So if you're following along from the last video, go ahead and click on grid. And I've tried to, I've color coded these and, and tried to keep the example the same across the board so it's familiar. And what I've done here is this is kind of an expansion of what we did on breakpoints. Uh, these divs, we only gave one rule. Um, one, you know, one, you know, if we get to this point, do something different. Whereas here, we've given rules. Each one of these divs has a rule for what to do at each breaking point. So large being considered, you know, um, a, a full desktop, what we're looking at right now, uh, or at least I am. I don't know if you're looking at this on your phone or tablet or something. Whereas the small and medium, uh, medium would generally be a tablet. And depending on the phone you might be looking at, uh, small and extra small could be considered the phone. So by giving this several different classes for each, we're creating a different kind of uh, rule for each scenario. So we'll watch our viewport width here. And uh, you'll see I described what's going to happen here. So this first one, or well, actually all of them are going to be the three columns. I've kept that the same. Um, so in the large case on the desktop, they're going to be, it's going to be four columns with three column spans. If that makes sense. Um, and then after that is when I start kind of breaking it up and I, I kind of randomized it. Um, so once we hit medium, this one's going to go all the way across to 12. This one, however, will move to a six, which should bump side by side with this one, who's also going to be a six. And this four should be kind of dropped down by itself. So let's see how that works out. So watch our viewport width there. And once we get past the 12, it's coming up. There you go. So exactly what I had said happened. This one goes to 12. This one's going to be six. This one's going to be six. And this one did a four column span. So it's kind of down here by itself because there's nothing else to fill this gap. So what happens next? In the next breakpoint, this div is now going to be three columns where this one's going to go all the way across. This one's going to be three columns and this one's going to be six. So this should get a little, little wonky here. So let's move to that 992 breakpoint. There you go. So that's exactly what happened. So this one went back to a 3, and this one is a 12. Since a 12 takes up all the spans, this one had to be bumped down to the next line. This one became a 3, and this one became a 6. So we've got another 3 gap over here, left over. So this last one then, I mean, you're hopefully getting the point. We might as well go to the last one here. So this div will now go to five columns. This one's going to be eight. So these should not; these should still be on their own lines because they won't fit together. This one's going to be ten. And this one's going to be twelve. So I'm assuming each one of these is going to be on its own line. Sure enough. So five, eight, ten, and twelve, and that's going to stay for the rest. So we get smaller and smaller. So what I wanted to illustrate here is how the behavior works. Now, this example is a poor example of how to actually do it um, to work well on a mobile versus desktop. But it should give you an idea of how you can go about rearranging these columns, changing the width of them so that they appear nicely on a smaller device, which in many cases by the time you get down to small, you might just set everything to be 12, so they stack. Otherwise, you'll get this weird effect here. Or if you try to cram too many in one row, it's going to be smashed. Whereas this one here looks still nice. Everything's still pretty much on its own line and pretty easy to read. So really quick, let's look under the hood. Get rid of this example. All right, so same setup. We've got a row and we've got four divs. But instead of giving it only one class, one rule for each div, we gave it four rules to handle each size. So hopefully that makes sense. 
So you don't have to do all four. You could do one, you could do two, you could do three, you could do only large and only small, only medium and only extra small. It really just depends on how you want it to behave. So some of this is trial and error. Um, but this is way easier than having to write the media queries um, that, are, that are going on underneath in the uh, Bootstrap CSS. Media queries are a great thing to learn. However, if you're trying to get something done really quick and slick, this is a nice option.